Hey guys! Today we're going to review the Smart Trike STR3. So we're going to show you how to build it, how to use it, and what we like and don't like about it. Let's go. <laughs> so we just opened it and it looks like it's already assembled, which is amazing. I think all we have to do is put on the wheels. So let's see. I'm trying to just move this box. That would be amazing if that's just what we have to do. Okay, so we're going to open it. A little side brake, like a side lock. So, so far this is how it looks, there's the canopy, um, I won't be putting the pedals, <laughs> it took me a second, I won't be putting the pedals on because Mia's too small for the pedals, she's about a year old, so, um, let's see, what are the setups we need to do for this? <laughs> so to take out these little foot rests, you just pull them forward and then you stretch them out and then you see this little red lever on there, pull them in, press the little red lever and it pops them out. So we're going to pop out those foot rests actually, she's going to need them. And we're probably gonna bring the this handlebar closer to her too, which is another little red lever. Uh, like that, yeah. And then I have this safety bar. It was up here against the seat. I just pulled it down. Um, I feel like something's supposed to zip to this canopy because look, there's a zipper in there, but I don't know. And now we're just trying to figure out the uh, handlebar because these little red things are the... Um, latches to lock them into place like this but um they're undone we just can't like pull it up so we'll see what happens in a second okay so i don't know if we're doing this wrong or not but we assume that to lift this all you have to do is lift up these little red levers right here and then pull up right but you can't you actually have to press in this little tiny silver button right here so you have to like press it in to the metal piping of the handle, which is a little bit difficult. Hold on. Okay, and then you can lift it all the way up until, there you go, the top. And you see it clicked up here, that little metal piece, and then you close it. But like, that's not really super intuitive. I don't know. I guess you're not going to be lifting and, you know, closing it down all the time, but for its main feature of being able to fold it and take it anywhere, they should make that a little bit easier for people. Alex is very angry trying to figure it out, right? Yeah. <laughs> so one of the cool things that we just noticed is that you see this little yellow label? So when, and there's a picture here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but when the wheel is facing like this with the yellow label out, um, the parent can push it and steer, but the child, like if Mia starts hitting this, it doesn't affect the wheel at all. But then there's a little lever in the back, right there, red. When you hit it and turn the thing around, turn the wheel around, uh, now Mia can control it, and that's for when she's older or when she's using this as a regular tricycle. So, um, 
turn, you gotta turn it so that I can see the side of the air, there you go. So the tricycle has a seat that can sit up straight or recline, which is pretty nice. So you can like lock it into place. So that would be it sitting straight upright. And then if she gets tired, you can lay her back a tiny bit. It's not much, but it's better than nothing, which is super nice. And then you don't have to have the baby bumper bar up. Like as she gets older, you can decide if you want to take it off or just leave it up there. It surrounds the seat. I would say like extra <laughs> padding. I don't know. It's not probably meant to do that, but if you want to have it out of the way, you can. I would put it in front though, because I'm um, over cautious. And then there's a cool little uh, canopy that you can have out and you can arrange it however you want. So it doesn't have, like it's not connected to the seat. So if you wanted to have it like that, or if you needed it, oh no, that's as far as it goes. But that's pretty good. That'll definitely protect her and you can just have it out of the way. Um, I can't crunch it. <laughs> there we go. You can have it out of the way. So now we're gonna show you how to fold it which would be handy if you lived in a city like we do, if you're going in and out of taxis or whatever else. Let's show you how to do that. So all we did right now was fold the handle down, fold back the canopy, fold up the bumper bar, put away the foot rests, Kind of like origami. It's a little complicated. But ultimately, that's the package. So when you were, let's say, putting it in a taxi, we would take off that front wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you don't have to, but if you wanted to make it more compact, you could even take off the side wheels. But you don't really have to do that. I think it looks really cute. It's very small. You think you could like hold it up for us? Yeah, like do it, like spin it around. Yeah, it's really small, really cute. Definitely, I would even say you could probably fit that in your overhead compartment of an airplane if you wanted to like take it on vacation with you. It's very cute. So you want to show them how to open it? And then you would just kind of open everything back up. So the handlebar, the seat, the bumper bar, the canopy. And you put the seat in whatever position you want to put it in. And then lock in that position. Bring down your canopy. And then just bring up your handlebar and you're completely finished. Oh, and your don't forget your foot rests. Um, so this stroller retails for about 139 and I think it's beautiful. We're gonna show some clips of Mia riding in it for the first time. So just 
<laughs> Give us a second for the uh, sun to rise. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, look how freaking cute you are. Where are you going? You going on adventures? You going on adventures? These wheels are basically hard plastic wheels. They're not rubber wheels, but I think that they'll still do just fine, you know, for a kid. They don't need to be anything fancy. Right? The fancy? You're so fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we got the thing toward her, but she doesn't really have any interest right now. She's just hanging out on the baby bumper bar with her blankie. Yeah. Oh, she's like, Daddy, why did we stop moving? You want to show me the canopy? Well, let me see her. Okay. Hi. You're so pretty. You get your mask? Uh, no. Get your mask. Okay. Just have it with you. Look how cute. How's it pushing on this carpet? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is it a little harder because it's rug or? No? The turn is like perfect. Perfect. So cute. How's it on this kind of flooring? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate it? Yeah? My gosh, a perfect 10. Look at you. I mean, it has, it has, it has no issues. I mean, the floor is pretty slick, so. Yeah. Too cold? Yep. Definitely. You're not dressed for it, mama. Would you claim that the one-handed steering is true? Is it easy to push with one hand? Yep. Okay, okay. I think Mia likes it too. Let's uh, get back upstairs. So I think overall, uh, the Smart Trike is an amazing tricycle. It's very nice, it's portable, it, and that's definitely good for people who live in the city. It is easy to maneuver. I think it's very comfortable for Mia. Um, I think that she, she she genuinely enjoys it. We love the fact that the seat can recline. <laughs> yeah. We love the canopy. We love the fact that the basket is like this kind of cloth, like bag type basket on the back. Um, and that's really good because our other tricycle, um, it has this sort of plastic, like bucket basket type situation and it falls off all the time. But this one is just, it's amazing. I, I love this tricycle. It's very cute. And I think, I don't know, like I, I think it's great. It's a great buy. I think you should totally go get it. I hope you had fun with this review. I hope it was helpful and I hope it taught you something. And I hope that it encourages you to buy it because it's a really good tricycle. Say goodbye, Alex. Bye. Say goodbye, Mia. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> That's her version of bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah.